All right, my friends, and welcome back to FIFA 18's Up the Motherfucking Imps. And before today's scheduled program, I have a couple of messages. First, if you are enjoying the series, please do drop a like on the video. It really is appreciated by yours truly, the one and only fan, Dan Motherfucking Goose. Also, if you're new to the channel, you like what you see, you like this pretty face, you like the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I've got to get to 1,000 so I can start monetizing my videos because YouTube has changed the fucking game plan. But it doesn't matter because that was my next goal. Anyway, but as far as the Up The Imp series is concerned, it's time for episode 22. Wow, 22 episodes already. That's motherfucking amazing. Now, season one is done and dusted, and I thought, well, this would be a good time to do a quick run through of what happened last season. That way, if people don't want to go all the way back to episode one and watch all of season one, they haven't got to. So this is what happened in season one of FIFA 18's Up The Imps. There was a funny little geezer who was waving at the camera a lot like this, was the appointed manager of Lincoln City FC. He went into the job, he was playing very well, and he was undefeated. Six episodes in, a voice from above, almost godlike, whispered down to the man in charge while he was talking to himself on the phone while he was sitting in his pants, just being a bit of a weirdo, and said, the game plan has changed. He's gonna get a lot harder. And it did get a lot harder. It went to legendary difficulty. It was at this point that the man in charge, the man sitting here talking to you on the camera, started to lose some games. Oh my God, it wasn't good. We went out the FA Cup, then went out the Checker Trade Trophy, and I thought, Jesus Christ, is the league gonna be going down the pan a lot like the cup competitions? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it didn't. But we did lose the quarterfinal against Burnley in the Carabao Cup. That really, really didn't fill the man with joy. But the league title did end up in Lincoln. A landslide victory, some would say. Almost 20 points clear. Buster Buster was named your first player of the season. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up season one of the Up The Imp series. Now, without further ado, let's run the motherfucking intro so we can get the motherfuck on with this motherfucking episode. <laughs> And that was a nice little intro for you, weren't it? Getting you up to date with this beautiful series, the FIFA 18 up the motherfucking MC. Yeah. You can see the singing is still here. That's probably not going to change. And maybe this season I will actually give you that musical that I promised you last season. But yes, it is League One time, and it's going to get a lot harder from here. We are starting on the calendar screen, but there's a lot to get through because new players have joined, old players have gone. We're still looking at transfers. We're going to go to the transfer hubbings. I'm going to show you that. Also, a youth prospect is now part of the first team. Also going to show you the countries that we're scouting because you guys were getting your suggestions in. I love that. So there's loads to get through, but first I thought we'd start on the calendar screen. We're going to do a two-game episode today. That's two, because I was swearing at you the other way. That's a bit rude of me, isn't it? We're going to play Sheffield United away from home. That's our first ever game in League One. And we're going to follow that up with a game against Millwall in the Carabao Cup. A cup that we love very, very much. Quarterfinals last season, it was a fucking happy time, wasn't it? But that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing as far as games. I need to change my batteries because I'm on motherfucking repeat. Now, let's go over to the transfer hub because there's plenty to talk about. So here we are, transfer hub. There's loads of players on this list. As you can see, goalkeepers, right backs, centre backs, left backs, right midfielders, centre midfielders, cams, strikers. There's no left midfielders. Just the business one at the bottom. They're all players you've been suggesting to me. I have signed some players. I'm going to introduce them to you real soon. You will see the guy at the top, Dean Henson, goalkeeper. The little tick, 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 tick clock. That's because we have offered him a little deal for a year on loan to the club. I'm here, ladies and gentlemen, because you have been getting your player suggestions in, in the droves, and uh, I was very appreciative of it. But um, I offered a contract to Lucas Danny, he wanted 17 grand a week, so that didn't happen. Uh, we offered Raggett a chance to come and play for us, that didn't happen because he wanted 20 grand a week. Who else, who else, who else? We offered uh, Danny Rowe a chance to come and play for us, but he wanted 12 grand a week, just too much money. Uh, I think it was Rob UTI really wanted me to sign this guy up. I apologise that he isn't going to be an impact player right now, but he's maybe one for the future. Uh, who else, who else? Uh, the man, we offered him a loan deal. It didn't quite go through, but I might go back again because he looks pretty tasty. Who else? 
Who else? Queen, oh, we offered him a chance to come alone, but he wasn't interested. Oh my god, Abraham, we offered him a chance to come alone, but he wasn't interested, plus 79 grand a week, and I mean that's a little unrealistic for a League One team. Also, who else did we offer? Han Quang Song, don't know how much he's worth. That's the biggest problem, that's the biggest stumbling block, but Han Quang Solo was going to be the lead man up front, because I like that name, but instead it's mugging me off. Uh, Asoro might go back in for him. Looks pretty decent, 65 rated, but you're going to see we've brought a new striker in. Oh my god, that's a spoiler. Also, Isaac, we offered him a chance to play for us, but he rejected it because he's a prick. And that's it. So, really, what I need to do now is take you over to the squad so I can show you the players that have joined. Because that's what you're all here for. I know that. And you're here for some games, so let's do it. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is the squad. And this is how it's looking so far this season. Vickers is going to be playing in goal. We've got Neil Ardley. Ardley does anything out on the right side. We've got the Conquer Ed Consa player centre-back next to a new sign-in. It's... Wilson! And that's how we're going to say his name in homage to Tom Hanks and the cast away. Then we've got De Silva. I don't know about a nickname for him yet. I might just dance every time he's on the ball. Don't know. Weird. Woodyard, the yard of wood, still playing centre mid. More of a defensive midfielder because we've had to change it up ever so slightly because it is League One and it's a lot harder. The Bodenator, still out there on the right wing, hugging the touchline like I hug my wife to sleep. Buster, Buster, tell me your name. Still in the centre midfield because he's an absolute hero. Built like a man mountain, looks like a Viking, and he's your captain this season. And then we've got a new player in Luke O'Neill. I think he's an upgrade on Billy the Notch Tonight, who went a bit off the boil last season. I don't know about him. We might just call him Paddy because O'Neill sings like an Irish name. But is that racist? I'm not sure. Let's hope it's not. And then we've got Husker Husker, Walnut Whip. He's still looking for that, you know, year supply of Brill Cream. He's got a win player of the season, basically, to get it. But he's out there hugging the left touchline. And then we've got Ajay on loan from Burnley for the season, 67 rated. Oh, look at the pace. It's filthy. It irks. I don't know about a nickname for him either, but I'm sure it will happen. The Green Machine now down, relegated to the bench. The Knots to not relegated to the bench. And Bastos is doing it for himself. He's promoted from the Youth Academy. He now finds himself on the bench, 62 rated. That's pretty decent. I'll be training him up like a boss. Then we've got the White Sane, Anderson, on the bench as well, along with Farman, who was a bit of a star, weren't he, Farman Sane, last season, but he's getting a little old, and I wanted to start to win Vickers in. Winard, Wellard, the airy dog, he's on the bench, and Hamburger Jones, it hurts me to do it, but he's relegated to the bench. He's just, you know, not good. Ward is in the reserves, trying to sell him, 48 rated, that's laughable. Even I'm better in goal, and I'm five foot seven. Uh, the Longs, the Longs, the Long is uh, in the reserves as well. The TLC, Waterfall, still able to take care of business. He probably will play a part from time to time. And the McMenemy, the enemy, is up for sale, probably gonna get rid. So, as far as that is concerned, my friends, we're still looking for a goalkeeper, but potentially one's coming in on loan. Maybe another striker on loan probably another centre midfielder then I'd be pretty happy with the balance of that squad what do you think let me know how I upgraded also in the comment section do keep getting your suggestions across to me because I really appreciate it and as far as the scouting network is concerned I asked you to get your suggestions to me as well and I basically took the suggestions that Peter Shepard and iStream Gaming uh, got over to me the iStreamer you suggested an attacker from the United States I think you're from the United States yourself aren't you my friend so that makes sense so we've set that one up and then Peter Shepard actually gave me a suggestion for all three but to make it fair I thought I'd take one from the other guy but the other two were suggested by Peter Shepard resident Man City fan, uh, a defensive minded Italian player and a physically strong Czech Republic. I've done that completely wrong. That's supposed to be Poland. Do apologise. I'm a fucking idiot. And with all that business done, this is what we're left with. 580 grand in transfer budget, £3,000 worth of wages. That's not a lot of money at all. But if we're just looking at loan players, we can get rid of the budget, bump the wages up and potentially bring in a few more 
players. So that's why I want you to keep getting your suggestions in, but they're probably loans. So keep that in mind. I know you can, I know you can. The force is strong. And the only other thing we really need to do is show you the objectives for the season. Then we can crack on with that first game against Sheffield United, who were relegated from the championship, so they're gonna be a fucking good team. But they want us youth development win two seasons, have at least one player from your youth academy signed in the first season to play at least 50% of the games in the next season. We might do that with Bastos. He might get a good amount of game time this season. Brand exposure, that's one that was set last season and it's about the uh, season tickets increasing and we are 30% done. You will see our domestic success for this season. Uh, they want us to finish mid-table in League One. <sighs> Can we get promoted back to back? We'll have to wait and see. And in Emirates FA Cup, they want us to reach the round of 32. That's doable. And that's it. Let's crack on with the first game. Let's get nutty. Let's get wild. Let's get to it in League One. So here we go. We've earned our place here in League One after that amazing first season. But from the get-go, from day dot in League One, we are up against it because it's legendary all the way. The one thing I didn't mention, my friends, when I was just rambling at 100 million mile an hour was I did do a friendly international tournament and we lost all three games because I simmed it like a prat and we just weren't good enough. But this is the Sheffield United starting 11. It's a very good team. A very good team indeed, Marlene. And they're going four at the, five at the back, sorry, three in midfield, two up top. Billy Sharp is the key man for them. I'm scared, really scared. And I've already shown you this beautiful team, but this is the Stein 11 we are going as far as Lincoln City are concerned. You will see, it's a 4-5-1, like we did last season. I've messed about with it a little bit, it just doesn't appear the way I want it to right here, but let's get the motherfucking win. So here we go, a brand new season is on the way. And I am hype, motherfucking hype, to try out all these new signings. This is lovely. What we need to do is just be picking up points consistently this season. And we're probably not going to do it like that, but that's all we're aiming for. Yard of Wood, come on, that's nice. Out to the Hoska Hosk. We don't know what he's going to be like in this league, but he was a killer in League Two. Bosta Bost! That shot is high wide and not very handsome. The complete opposite of my description. <laughs> Gorgeous man. No! Come on. Come on. Get the tackles in, boys. Oh, you can already see. You can already see. A better level. Better level of player. Better level of player. No. Come on. Come on. Nothing silly. No, no, no. What the fuck? You can tell my tackling is woeful. Oh, it's tense. It is tense in this room, I tell you. TP, TP, too tense. <laughs> oh, dad jokes. Banter. Oh, fuck off, Neon. That ain't banter. I'm losing the ball like that, you prick. Nothing much has happened in this first half. It's been pretty fucking shit. Because I just cannot get my head around it. Cannot get my head around it. Next level players, very good. Good on the ball, passing's not very good, as I'm saying all this. But, uh, oh, come on, get it because you fucking prat. Messing about a bit there, you knob. What is the matter with you? Jesus, this is fucking shit. So boring, they don't do anything with it. Loads, they've had loads of possession, but they do nothing with it. I don't actually think you got to see many shots, did you, in that first half? Just a lot of me rambling up to the bollocks. But the second half will be coming up, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll have something better to give you. Yes, Woodyard, into the boss star. Come on, boss. Go out wide, Neon. That's all right. We can deal, we can deal. The seals, the seals, come across. That's all right. This is good. This is good build-up play. Hardly. Ball in the box. Oh, he won that the whip. It's a good chance. It's a good chance. But it's just over. Oh. Come on, win that. Yes, well done, Neon. Go, go back out wide. This is all right. This is good. Ajay's in the box. Ajay's in the box. Anyone? Oh, Buster Bost. Oh. Interesting side note. Bosta means shit in Portuguese. Who'd have funk it? Oh yes, Bowen, what a touch. 
What a touch. Someone needs to get in the box. Uh, someone, someone's in. Someone's in. Oh no. How have I missed? Oh my God. How have I missed? Well, that one was on a plate. Served up by the best fucking chef in the world. Unreal, Jeffrey. It's fresh legs, fresh legs. The knots, the knots on for the yard of wood, the yard of wood, the wood, 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 the yard of wood has gone off. Oh, we need some better players. We need some better players to compete. We really do. Conk. Oh, fuck off. Oh, this would be just my luck, wouldn't it? This would be just my fucking luck. Free kick, incoming. Ah! Whew. Hey, fuck for that. Come on, boys. Defend this corner. Defend this corner. No! Oh! <sighs> what a save. And there we have it. It's boring. It's nil-nil. And yeah, if you're asleep at home, <laughs> don't blame you. Don't blame you at all. Life. Okay, my friends, so as you can see, Mr. Henderson has joined the team and will play in goal. He's going to be affectionately known as FA Cup because look at those fucking lug holes. As far as Vickers is concerned, I'm going to loan him out because I'd rather he was playing, I'd rather he was developing, and then Farman, Fireman Sam can be the backup goalkeeper. So here we go, second game of the episode, away from home again. This time, we've gone to fucking Scummy Millwall, and uh, Caribou Cup this is, and we've got to be mightily fucking good to beat these bastards, because I do believe they're in the championship. This is the Millwall starting 11. They're all fucking scumbags. We don't like the Millwall, 442, Jesus fucking Christ, it's me Achilles Hill! It's me Achilles Hill, Savile, Wallace, Morrison, all got to be watched. And this is the Lincoln City starting 11 and you will see it's heavily rotated. Some would say we're not taking the Carabao Cup too seriously, but I've got to look after the players. You will see that the white Usain is in on the right, there's other players coming in, but Bastos, the wonder kid, is making his debut. So, Jai gets the game kicked off and can we go on a similar run to how we did last season here in the Carabao Cup. And uh, we need to find a bit more, don't we? And <laughs> we're not gonna do it with passing like that. Jesus Christ. The defending is so different. It's so good. It's so good. What a ball. What a ball. Can he get him in? Yes, he can. Look at Ajayi. Look at the run. Taking a touch. Oh, what a block from the fucking defender that is. Come on. Let's get this one. Let's score this one. That's goalkeepers. No. Yes, it is. But not how I expected it to be. That's all right. Hamburger Jones on the, oh, on the right peg. That's not his strongest foot. That's good. Here we go. Hardly. Oh. Don't let him in. 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 Why was that defender playing him on side? He's the only fucker back there. Bastos, what is that touch? Morrison's in, and he's hit the post. Thank fuck for that. Come on, 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 Eileen. No, you know what I mean. And we've dived in, and that is a save. Yes. Look at Anderson. Pick him out. What a ball, cross builder. Get there, Anderson, you little mug. Yes. Fucking did and all. Oh, what a challenge. What a challenge that is. That is unfucking real how well timed that was. Anyone would think he was controlled by a computer game. Half time, nil nil. Oh my god, how long are we gonna go until we score a fucking goal? New season is side with a dry spell. Second half coming up. Onion. Goes wide. This is good. Bastos is in behind. Look at the Bastos. Can he get a ball in? Can he get a ball in? Yes, he can. Back post. Oh. So the Billy not. His game is over. His injury is bad. The wood yard. The yard of wood is coming on. Oh, it's just not fast enough. Because Anderson, as good as he is, he's just not. He's not at this level. He really isn't at this level. League two is uh, is his level. But it's all right. He's in. I'm just saying it's his level. Oh. What a strike from the white you say! Get in there, finally, a fucking goal! Jesus Christ, I've sat here so long I thought I was going to get a fucking hemorrhoid, but what a goal! 
from the white Usain. He has put his fucking pinky through that one, and it ends up top Bignano's 1 0 to the good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, the, the fucking centre backs have been immense. Oh, Jesus, what a save from Henderson. It's all them. All of a sudden, it's all Millwall. Okay, here we go. Got to get a corner in. Corner coming in the box. Ajaye! Oh, it's a save by the Archer. Substitutions. The Bodenates is coming on for the O'Neill. No, 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 that's weird because the Bodenates got placed in the midfield, but a job's a job. Do it, do it, do it, do it now. Come on, what a, what a fucking game this has been. What a fucking fight this has been. Come on, Bosta. Nothing silly. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Bowen! That's bullshit! Fuck off with your aids, EA. Why are you doing this to me? That just wouldn't happen. Get up. No! Henderson again! Look at this. Look at the space that we've just made. And the Ajayi just needs to get in the box. And he hasn't got in the box, but the Bastos. Can he find the Ajayi? Yes, he can! Oh, what a save! What a save from Archer! Bosta, Bosta. He wants it from the throw-in. Oh, what a touch. He's come inside. He's going to feed the man. He's going to take a shot. Oh, he fucking saves it again. Right, throw-in. Oh, they've worked it nicely. No. Oh! oh, my God. How on earth has that fucking managed to work its way into the net? I do not believe it. My team are dead on its feet and they've just got an 88 minute equaliser. How lucky are they that that ball bounces back out to McLaughlin like that? Come on, boys. Let's do something special now. Come on. Let's do something real special now. That's, that's, that's good. Holding on to that ball. Bowen. Into the wood yard. Oh, come on. Come on. Good corner. A good corner. A good corner. Oh, Wilson was there. Bowen. Oh, he's off the line! Oh my god, he's off the fucking line right in the death! <laughs> oh my god! If we make it through, it's penalties. I won't win penalties because I'm shit. Fuck! Let's do this! Fucking bullshit. Oh no, what a ball. What a ball. Hardly couldn't win it. Oh, Millwall could be in. Millwall could be in. There's plenty of them up. There's plenty of them up. No! 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 That is bullshit. That is utter, utter fucking wank stain, that goal. No, I'm not having that at all. I'm not having that at all. I won the ball, and how has that bounced into his fucking feet? Look at this cross. A nothing cross, and he just bounces off everyone. Oh, fuck off. Jesus Christ. So fucking sick of this shit. That second goal was wham me up, something rotten. Just fucking bullshit, mate. Cannoning off two of my players. Okay. Okay. What is that? What is that throwing all of a sudden? All of a sudden, all of a sudden. And that is the end of the first half of extra time. We're done. We ain't winning this game. My players are too tired. It's over. But we're going to keep trying. But the players are fucked. And there we have it. Full time. <laughs> this is so hard. It's on another level. Another level difficult now. The team's so weak against this better opposition. <sighs> Tried my best. Just wasn't to be. Oh, so I've got even oh, fucking more bad news. Broken toe, really not done for two months. So it's actually a good job that I've just loaned in Declan Rice. Because he can play in the midfield and he can play centre back. Jesus. Please, comment section, players, loan players, need them, need them now, desperate times, desperate measures, do it. So today, ladies and gentlemen, that was not exactly what we had planned, was it? Um, but before we leave, we do have to take a look at the EFL League One table, and you will see we are all the way down in 13th position after that opening nil-nil board draw, which honestly, I've had more fun licking fucking pennies. Uh, it was awful. Absolutely awful result. And we're out of the Carabao Cup as well. So, yes, great episode. And we all were really so excited to go up to League One. Jesus Christ. And Millwall, by the way, are not even the league above us. They're in this league. So, yeah. Just shows you how hard this league's going to be, doesn't it? What a fucking wank stain that is. But, yeah, that's it, my friends. If you are new to the channel, you have enjoyed today's episode, remember to like, share, and subscribe. But that was a weird...
They used to sing it, wasn't it, my friends? In the comment section below, remember, do keep getting your player suggestions in there. Much appreciated by me because I only buy the players that you suggest. But that's it, my friends. Until next time, I've been your boy. Damn. You have been my motherfucking legends. And this has been FIFA 18 up. The motherfucking names. Peace out, my homies. And I'll see you on the motherfucking next one. Yeah. Peace. Layers out of a good sheet.